sunset, there she goes, hopping round her tiny toes. Sunset hopper, love, she just loves love. Hi guys, this is Sunset Hopper. I'm from Japan, now I live in Mexico. Right now I am in Cancun, downtown. Cancun is in Mexico. I have been living here for about half a year. If you hear Cancun, you probably imagine very luxury all in this hotel and the beautiful beaches and the ETC. But it is actually just a part of Cancun. The real life people who live here is not staying at all inclusive hotel, is not enjoying at the beautiful beach every day. They are all living in downtown. Downtown is like 30 minutes drive away from hotel zone. And in hotel zone there are so many tourists there. But in downtown so less tourists and people actually live here. So I've been living here for half a year now and I'm gonna go to Mercado 28 which is like a central of uh, people who live here. You can find everything there. You're gonna see there now, yeah? So I am on my way to go there and Mercado 28 is just like over there. I'm gonna show you a little bit of downtown. So this is downtown and this is electric machine. So every month you have to pay um, electric you have like a little card and you scan the card you go pay then you, you scan back the card then you have the electricity how to cross the road in Cancun downtown is you have to always watch where you are going and yeah just like this it is so rare to find a signal so you just have to watch where you are going Oxo. Oxo is just like 7 Eleven. That is in everywhere in Mexico and also only in Mexico. Oxo is literally like some, something you use every day because to pay electricity fee, pay online supermarket, to pay some gas fee and water fee, everything you can download in Oxo. So I'm gonna go into Oxo to buy some water. You always have to put the mask on or they're not gonna let you inside. So let's go. This is Oxo. They have like ham and sandwich. Oh this is so Mexico. All the Oxo they have this hot dog and how to make hot dog like this is that you're gonna grab this and then you're gonna grab this and there's a pan here so you gonna sorry you're gonna put everything together then you're gonna put this that's how you make a hot dog in also right now i am so thirsty of course tortillas nachos you can find everywhere so I'm going to buy some water. I don't know which water do I want. Hmm. I'm gonna get this one. In Mexico, you cannot drink tap water. So you always have to get the water from somewhere. You can come to Oxo and buy water, which is about 40 liters, around $2 to US dollar. And or I get a water delivery service at my apartment because um, for women, it is very, very heavy. So it's not realistic that I carry this, yeah? They always have ice. And what's so funny about this ice is that they're always so stuck together. So when I use ice, I literally have to crush it with like knife or fork so I can finally use the ice. In Mexico, beer is very, very cheap. Like this beer is less than one dollar. It's like, uh, it's, it's literally like one dollar. In Japan, beer is like 2.5 dollar. So for me, one dollar is like uh, so much better deal, isn't it? You can find 
so many snacks here. You can buy card. And my favorite corner. They have alcohol and so many oxos. They usually have banana, avocado, apple, onion, and limes. They love lime and avocado. I love it too. Okay, so now I got the water. Oh, if you are curious about what is this, it's some label shot. So a few weeks ago, I got bitten by monkey, uh, which I also made a video about it. Um, <laughs> so I had to get the label shot. I didn't have to because it was a monkey at the park, but we were not sure if they were vaccinated, so I didn't want to take any chance, blah, blah, blah. So I just went to get the label shot. Yeah. So I am going to over there to go to the Mercado 28 because I have some errands that I have to do. I have to go to the post office and copy and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, something about how you walk in Cancun downtown is that you always want to watch out where you are going. So right now, this road is kind of good because it's flat and there's no hole. But so many times there are so many holes in where you are walking there. So you don't want to watch over there. You want to really see where you are going. So you don't see. If you if I'm if I'm not watching, I could just step like this. oops. It is so possible, right? So you always wanna make sure where you're going. That is how you walk in Cancun downtown. No way, it says copiers. How to do copies, photocopies in Mexico is that you have to go to a place called the office depot or something like this. So right now I'm gonna go get my copy because I have to. Hola. Okay, now I made three copies and I bought one envelope and it was 50 cents. Somehow post office, they don't have uh, envelope, so I have to go to this kind of place to buy an envelope to send out something. There, there are some trash on the floor. Oh, there's a fun fact about trash. In Cancun, you can throw away everything all together. Wine bottles and chocolate and everything. Fish, everything, just throw away everything in a just throw everything in one bag and you can just throw that away. Super easy. This is electric stuff. Oh, see? This is a hole I'm talking about. You could easily step in this and you can buy. This is called collectible. Collectible is like a shared minivan. People use this as like a bus. Yeah? One ride is 10 pesos, which is 50 cents. And what's so funny is that they don't have like a bus stop. Sometimes they have for a bigger bus, but for this collective minivan, they don't have a bus stop. So like they always know which spot they have to stand. So if this is the stop spot, I just simply stand here and I just raise my hand when I want the collective. So like to use collective, you gotta know how to use it. You gotta know where you are standing at to get the collectivo. So using collectivo as a foreigner is very hard because you don't know where to stand because there is no bus station there. The taxis. I will tell you how to get taxis around here. So, oh, oh my god, this is a very big hole and the pole. <laughs> oh my god, so funny. Yeah, how to get taxi around here is you can just simply raise your hand and stop a taxi but uh, I don't recommend you to do this at night because some taxi driver can be not so good so um, you always want to make sure that you're gonna use application such as uh, inside of downtown Didi is the best way to get around because it's the cheapest but if you are getting a taxi to hotel zone, then Uber is actually giving you the better price. And some people use WhatsApp group. 
WhatsApp, you know WhatsApp, yeah, WhatsApp is Snapchat, like a Snapchat or Line. And they have like a Cancun taxi driver, WhatsApp group. So you can just say that, oh, I need a taxi right now from here to there. Is there any driver available right now? Then they're gonna come for you. Um, people tell me that this is actually very safe, as safe as using Didi and Uber. So I think I can recommend you to do that. But in daytime, I think if you see taxi and if you want taxi, go for it. I think you can just raise your hand and stop taxi and it, can, it cannot be that unsafe, no? This is a very nice restaurant, I see. Because I'm getting closer to Mercado 28, there are nicer, more commercialized shops here now. Weed Mexican boyfriend, you want to make some weed? <laughs> it happens all the time. <gasps> no way, this is the next. Okso is literally like center of, uh, like very center of. Uh, 